Hey, Vistabulers, Vistabulist, Vistabulians, Vista Rastafarians, whatever we're going to end up calling ourselves. Steve McClelland here, and today I'm going to do a little bit of a review of something called a hitch tightener. Uh, this is a, a U-shaped bolt that's going to go between your receiver and your hitch and basically hold it tight in place with another little uh, piece of metal that will clamp underneath it because I think the, the vestibules have a problem that a lot of trailers don't. A lot of teardrops have the same problem, but certainly the vestibules are light enough that even the slightest bump, they, I don't want to say get airborne, but they're suddenly, they're uh, surely bouncing around back there. And it creates a lot of noise between your hitch and your receiver. So this is made to go on there, pull it down tight. It'll have two bolts on the bottom that will tighten on comes with an assortment of bolts, not an assortment, but two lock washers, two washers, and two uh, nuts to go on the end. Uh, this particular one that I have here is made by Mission Automotive, and I'll put a link to that. So as soon as it cools down here a little bit, I'm going to go out and get this baby installed. We'll see how it does. Okay, welcome to the underside of my tow vehicle where I've got a little bit of a bonus review for you. This is my new locking uh, coupler lock, so it will stay in place and nobody can undo my coupler. And I love it because you just lock it by pushing in on the end there, and then it is secured by a pin because there was a recent post. I apologize, I don't know by who, but there was a recent post by somebody who had theirs fall off uh, presumably because the lock came off the end and it pulled out, but this one is secured by a pin. So locked to the vehicle and also secured by a pin. All right, let's get this baby on now. This is the two inch U-bolt that I was talking about that just slips right over there. And this plate here has this little lip and I'm just gonna look at the picture here to make absolutely sure. Yes, the lip does go toward the outside up against the receiver itself. Now I picked this particular hitch tightener because uh, a number of reasons. It's powder coated on that U-bolt, this black part right here, so it's gonna be a lot more resistant to weather and rain. I'm not gonna rust as easily. And um, the quality, it's very thick. These are three quarter inch nuts that I'm putting on here. And uh, there are a number of them out there that are not only thinner, but there's even ones that only have one bolt on the bottom. And it seems to me for a nice even pull that you would want two bolts holding this on, securing it from rattling. So anyway, I'm gonna tighten those hand tight and then we'll use a three quarter socket to crank them down a little bit. Doesn't have to be super snug. Uh, I am gonna throw this three quarter inch socket into my mobile tool bag in the back of the car in case it does come loose while I'm on the road. That socket doesn't fit. There's a little bit too much of a uh, of the bolt sticking out there so I'll use a box wrench here just to finish them off. And there you go. The whole installation took me what? A minute and a half? Two minutes? A minute 35. And uh, look at that. I mean do that with with your ball and see if it uh, doesn't make a little bit of noise. So the next step is to take it out on the road and drive over some bumpy things and see how it sounds. That thing is dead silent.
you hear a difference? It's a little hard to tell the difference in the video, especially in the speed bump test, but I can tell you this. We just completed a 2,000 mile road trip with this baby on to Vista Beluza, 2019, Vista Beluza, that's so hard to say, 2019 in Oregon. And when I drove a short distance after that trip without this on, I couldn't believe the difference, how loud it was without this on. Now, one reason you may not have been able to notice a difference in the video is because after driving those 2,000, mi uh, 2000 miles, we came home and the hitch receiver was a little bit full of road grime and a bit of dust and rust and I had to kind of kick it to get it out of there. So that kind of kept it tight on its own. So if you want to save 20 bucks and not buy this, just jam a bunch of pebbles in there and let it rust for a while, it'll stay tight. Um, one note, if you have a tow vehicle that's a little bit low, you could possibly bottom out, as I did several times on that trip, and hit these threads on the ground, on, a, on pavement, on the dirt, whatever, and damage the threads. In fact, I can't even get this nut, there it goes, I can't get this nut off right now. But if I put it on there, put an extra nut, that's what I plan to do, put an extra nut on the bottom to protect those threads and keep it from damaging. Um, now I thought when I got this that I would use it just on longer trips, but you know, for $19.99 on Amazon and for the cost or the time of a minute 35 to put it on, I'm going to keep this baby when I drive around the block or when I go to the store. I'm not sure why I would hook up my trailer to go to the store, but I'll be using this. So, after reviewing the Mission Automotive Hitch Tightener on Amazon again from 1999, I will give it a very solid recommendation. If you want tons more great information on the Vistabule trailers, join us on Facebook. Search for Vistabule, V I S T A B U L E, and join us in the Vistabule Teardrop Enthusiast Group. Hey! <clears throat> Dig two. Check and tighten nuts after every use. <laughs> hey, you're gonna help me review this hitch tightener? You're looking at the camera right there and say, do a hitch tightener today. <laughs> yep. V I. Cue the cricket sounds, please. Cue the nature sounds. I'm in the garage.